Today on Papaw's Projects we are going to use Fusion 360 to design a T-coupling to fit my 40mm round extrusion for the large format 3D printer build. So stick around. And welcome to Papaw's Projects. Before we get started, let me take the time to ask you to please go down below and click on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to receive notifications anytime I upload new content, go ahead and ring that bell. But I would certainly appreciate it. It helps me grow this channel. So with that being said, let's move on. The first thing I need to do is bring up Fusion 360. So let me share my screen and we will bring up Fusion 360. Alright, so here we are in Fusion 360. This should be a pretty simple little fitting to design. And then we'll get it printed out. I'm going to need four of them. And this piece is going to be used to put cross braces across the legs um, to keep everything squared up and straight. So it should be pretty simple. We're going to start out with a sketch. Let's throw us a piece of paper down there and get something to draw on. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's get this thing started. Let me go to top view and let's create a sketch. And then on that sketch, let's set up our profile. We're going to draw a center, a circle from the center radius point out 41. And we're going to draw another circle from the uh, radius point out 46 and let's zoom in a little bit and let's draw our lugs five and a quarter six Okay, and let's draw one at the bottom. That stupid check mark is right in my way, so let's check it and just draw another one. There you go. Alright, so there's my lugs. Now, stop that sketch and scoot it over here a little bit. Now let's select this surface here and let's extrude it. Let's see, we're going to need to extrude it half the diameter of the tubing, which is 23 millimeters, and then I want to give it a little extra to have a wall inside there, so we're going to need, let's say, six more. So 23 and 6 is 29, and we'll extrude it. Okay. This back on. Now we're going to select the lugs in the outer ring and extrude those. And those are going to need to be the 29 that we just extruded plus an additional, I don't know, let's say 40. So, whoops, 69 total. Alright, now if I turn the body back on, we should have a hollow tube with the wall in the back. And as you can see here, we've got 40 millimeters for this tube to slide in until it hits the wall. And then I have a solid chunk of plastic from that back wall to the end. So, now let's rotate it. We need to draw the top of the tube that has a total pass through. So let's take and create a construction plane on a tangent on the side of this round tube. 
and there we have it that gives us something to lay our paper on so we're, then we're going to select the construction plane and put a sketch on it and then on that sketch if we can turn off the body will that help yep and let's see what happens if we turn off the other sketch no we want to leave that sketch on or not we don't have to we can turn that off think so let's give it a try first let's see if it stays on if it causes us any trouble let's draw another circle from the center point out 41 and let's draw another circle from the radius point out 46 same profile as before and let's turn the body back on see which direction it's facing so according to this since it has flipped we need the lugs to be here and here and so let's try that let's draw these lugs let me zoom in a little bit here get it over here where I can see it there five and a quarter or so Six or so and then back and then over here huh, I don't like that where'd that come from let's back up on that this has got one too okay so let's try that maybe they belong there all right so let's go here I got off okay so let's draw a line there border Line six down. Okay, and stop the sketch. Okay, now let's see what we've got. Okay, so lugs are in the proper places. Now, let me make it a little smaller and get it up here where I can see. Now we need to extrude. And let's extrude everything. One, two, three, four, five. Let's extrude everything. Negative. 46 and let's set it to join so that we make something instead of cut it away okay All right now if I turn off the bodies Uh, let's turn on the sketch. Let's do that. Okay. Now we have added a solid chunk of plastic across the end for our T. And now we will cut through the plastic, clicking this and this. And we will cut 846. Cut. Okay. Now, if we look at it, we should clear through. There 
we are. Okay, so let's make it smaller, drag it down here. So we have a pass through here. This is all solid up to about right here. And then this tube will slide in until it hits the wall. Should be good. And let me turn off the sketches. There we go. And we have a finished piece. Looks like everything's aligned perfectly on the top and bottom. So there we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, this will allow me to slide it on the leg through this section here and put a cross brace from one side to the other. So I'm going to have to print four of these. So we will do that and I will come back and show you how it turns out. Let me go back to the main screen. And here we are. And this is a perfect time, actually. Time. While I'm gone, do me a favor. You know what I'm going to say. Take the time to click that subscribe button while I'm gone. I will be right back. Okay, and here we are back. And we have a finished piece. Turned out pretty well. So I have a little cleanup to do on the bottom from where the brim I gotta get that cleaned off, but uh, let's give it a try. I got a couple pieces of my extrusion here. Sample piece. And if we did good, it should slide right on. And it does. And another piece. should go right in and it does there we have it there we have my corner piece for my cross braces another successful design and print so that is all we're going to have for this episode and I thank everyone for stopping in I appreciate it and check back often and we will design the next piece i got to print three more of these and then we will uh, prepare for the next part so thank you for joining me uh, one last time please take the time to subscribe down below and help me grow this channel and ring that bell if you'd like to receive notifications i certainly appreciate you stopping by and joining me and i hope you all have a wonderful evening and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.